What's up guys, Erwin Tech here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to disable or remove GoGuardian on your school Chromebook. We will be doing this using a new exploit called Swamp Ultra made by Bypassy on Discord. Thank you to him for making this so I can showcase it to you guys today. But before we get into it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can hit 70,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to go follow my Twitter linked in the description below. I post YouTube updates, random stuff, and if you're interested, the link is always in the description below. You know what else is in the description below? My Discord invite, so make sure to join. You can chat with me and the other members, contribute to YouTube videos, and so much more like fun game nights. I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time, let's just get straight into the video. Here are all the membership shoutouts for today's video, make sure to go subscribe to their channels, and let's just get back to the video. Alrighty guys, so before we start this tutorial, all of these links will be in the description below for you guys to use. They won't be on a Google Doc, they're just on here for reference, they'll be straight in the description below for you guys to click on in case Google Docs is blocked. Also, one more thing before we start this tutorial, please make sure you have GoGuardian on your Chromebook. The title is self-explanatory, but for people who ignored it, you need to have GoGuardian to do this tutorial. Without it, it literally won't even work. Now that we have that out of the way, click one of the links here, click on them again, then it will load up Swamp Ultra. Before we get into disabling GoGuardian, you're able to run your own code you make in here. So if you're a developer, which I'm sure very few of you are, you can run your own code in here. And I think that's pretty cool. A lot of possibility that comes with it. And then if you scroll down here, there's some built-in scripts that Bypassy has put into here. Display GoGuardian policy, run a third-party script, bookmark emulator when Google tab is loaded, and a bunch of other ones like this. And like he says, you can DM them on Discord if you have a suggestion to add, but these are just some cool ones that are already built in for you guys to use. If we scroll down a bit more, this is the main section here to disable GoGuardian. Don't disable GoGuardian down here with LTBeef. Please make sure you do it right here in the dedicated section to ensure everything works properly. So you see there are three options here, hard disable, soft disable, and repair GoGuardian. It has an explanation under it of what each of them do. Hard disable will disable GoGuardian and persist until you power wash your device. So that basically means even if you turn your Chromebook off and on, it will still stay unless you power wash it. And if you want something less permanent, like it says, you can do soft disable. There's also a note here that hard disable will prevent your teachers from seeing your screen, so that is also a bonus as well. I I know this stuff is really cool, but you can get into serious trouble with this and the people who made this, like Bypassy and others who made the UI links and stuff like that, and me, we are all not responsible for any trouble you get into if you do this. Do this at your own risk, knowing that you could get in trouble. And then you can also repair GoGuardian here in case you want it back, like teachers are going to come see your screen or you're going to get your Chromebook searched by the school. This is a good option. And there's some additional stuff here that you guys can read into if you're interested. Also, this goes for everything. Please Please make sure you read before you click anything because it can really do some stuff to your Chromebook, so please make sure you read and know exactly what you're doing before you do it. This is also an alternative to disable all extensions on your school Chromebook as well, since the other one got patched. Here are all the other extensions I have on my Chromebook, and I can just click on them to disable them as well. Like if you have something other than GoGuardian on your Chromebook that teachers use to track you with, you can use this to disable that as well. And if you like exploits just like this, make sure to donate to Bypassy right here. You don't have to, but he would greatly appreciate it since he spends time making exploits just like this. So yeah guys, this is basically how to disable GoGuardian on your school Chromebook, along with some other Chrome extension disabling stuff, along with some other Chrome extension disabling stuff as well, and the ability to run scripts on here as well. This is a really great exploit and I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you all for watching, here are all the shoutouts for today's video, and if you want to be featured in one of my videos, just comment down below, I subscribed, and I'll I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Anyways guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.